Mastering Adverbs, Comparative and Superlative Forms Hello learners! Welcome to another exciting lesson in our series of learning English. Today we are going to focus on something that's very important in daily conversation, the comparative and superlative forms of adverbs. With these forms, you'll be able to compare and contrast different things, people, and places more accurately. Let's get started. First things first. What are comparative and superlative adverbs? Adverbs, as you may remember, are words that modify or describe verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. Comparative adverbs are used to compare the differences between the two objects they modify. Larger, smaller, faster, higher. Superlative adverbs are used to describe an object at the upper or lower limit of a quality. The largest, the smallest, the fastest, the highest. Most adverbs in English form the comparative by adding R to the end of the word if the adverb is short, a one-syllable word, or by adding the word more before the adverb if it is longer. Let's look at some examples. Fast to faster, slowly to more slowly. The rule is easy, isn't it? Let's move to the next section. When it comes to forming superlative adverbs, the process is similar to forming comparative adverbs. If the adverb is short, we add est to the end of the word. If the adverb is longer, we add most before the word. Here are some examples. Fast to fastest, slowly to most slowly, Keep practicing with more adverbs, and you'll soon get the hang of it. Now that we have understood the basic rule, it's time to discuss a few irregular cases. Not all adverbs follow the regular er, est, more, and most rules. For example, well to better to best, badly to worst to worst, far to farther, further to farthest, furthest. These are adverbs that you just have to memorize, as they do not follow the regular pattern. We've covered a lot in this video. Remember, using comparative and superlative adverbs accurately can greatly improve your English conversation skills. So, practice making sentences using these forms, and you'll soon find it much easier to express comparisons and extremes. Keep learning and keep practicing. I hope you found this video helpful. Catch you in the next one.